Hello, Rachel. It is Monday, May 30th, and bow ties are cool. <laughs> Sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows. Everything that's wonderful is what I feel when we're together. It's on brighter than a lucky penny when you're near the rain goes disappears, dear. And I feel so bright just to know that you are mine. I just wanted to say thank you for the video yesterday. Yesterday, when I saw it, I just saw it right now. And I didn't write notes. This might be a little bit random. Thank you for that video. That video was awesome. I'm going to try to remember everyone who was in it. Zoe and Laura and Serena and Sierra. This is like order of people that I saw. And then I think Caroline and Emily. I haven't met those two people when I was in Indiana. But hello. If you're watching the video, hello. Um, I'm right now in my room. Again. Just in case you wanted to know the location. And I also miss all of you guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've been having a little bit of, like, school mixing up, trouble and stuff. And actually, our last day of school was testing. That that was fun. <laughs> I sort of miss in Indiana where you'd have all the testing and then you just had awesome days. Awesome days. Actually, I think Emma's in the Bahamas right now. You said that she ditched. And actually, on Friday, she's going to be right here for my confirmation because Mrs... Emma's last name, privacy, um, is going to be my confirmation sponsor. So that's going to be pretty awesome. They're also bringing Madame. We should totally all make you a video on Friday, and then we'll make awesome videos when you're here during that full week. That's going to be amazing. Well, um, thanks so much for the appreciation. I really miss Indiana, and I hope that this new school will provide me more opportunities to make, like, friends, and I I just wish everyone here was, like, exactly like you guys. I wish I could take all of you guys and just put you in Tampa. Although that would probably mess up your lifestyle somehow. No, no. Okay, well, anyway, um, summer started, our last day of school was Friday, and then our parents took us to Orlando for, like, two days. And during those two days, we went to this very nice hotel. We never get to go to very nice hotels except for when my dad is on a meeting, which luckily is a lot. So we went to this really nice hotel, and it had like a little beach thing and a gigantic pool, and we got to canoe, no, kayak. Keep getting those two confused. Well, we got to kayak around this cool area, and I discovered two things that are amazingly awesome that I wish I could totally pass on to you. Um... The first is, I was watching Les Miserables, and I was like, hey, the guy who plays Androlas is really awesome. He's a really good singer. I will attach a link into this video, maybe right now. Red, the blood of angry men. Black, the dark of ages past. Red, a world about to dawn. Black, the night that ends. If, if that was the link, then it should go right there. Well, anyway, um, this guy's name is Raman Karimlu, and he's also Phantom of the Opera in the sequel. I'm going to post the other video of him in, as Phantom of the Opera. I'll always feel no more than halfway real Till I hear you sing Because he's a really good singer. He probably looks more like this on stage. Well, um, anyway. Yes, that's first thing I discovered was awesome because that particular song is stuck in my head. The one that he's saying that I'm going to put in here is really awesome. It's called Till I Hear You Sing and it's amazing. I just... Yeah. Also... I'm not sure if you've heard of a series called Doctor Who, but we saw it in our hotel room, and it is about... I've realized that it's pretty complicated. It's really complicated, and I cannot make a sufficient explanation. I put the Wikipedia page in the comments, if I remembered to, <laughs> and 
Um, now I will resume to the video about why my last video didn't work because of copyright. Yes. But there's a trailer. It's good. You'll get it. I had a little bit of trouble uploading the video because it was owned by BBC. It was an actual trailer that they showed, and so apparently they have copyright to it. So I found another one. I warn you, it is like three minutes long. So I might speed it up a little bit and favorite the link. Or I might just post the whole thing. I'm making the video. I don't really know what I'm going to do yet. Okay, Rachel, I pretty much hit my last straw here. Um, I've tried it three times and copyright laws keep going. I'm going to try it once more. Once more, and if it's not working, then you will see several links in the doobly-doo. I feel like hitting someone with these fake lemons. Okay, Rachel, I've looked for several videos that wouldn't infringe the copyright of BBC, but I cannot. Doctor Who belongs to BBC, and they've made sure to keep it that way. So I'm just going to post some clips of, no, not post the clips, I'm going to post the URLs of the links into the doobly-doo so you can watch those. Okay. Lemons. Come on, then! The doctor will see you now! No, but I've put a lot of work into it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What do you think? Is this world important? Important? What's that mean, important? Six billion people live here. Is that important? Here's a better question. Is this world a threat to the Atraxi? Well, come on, you're monitoring the whole planet. Is this world a threat? Are the peoples of this world guilty of any crime by the laws of the Atraxi? No. Okay. One more, just one. Is this world protected? If you're not the first lot to have come here, oh, there have been so many. And what you've got to ask is... What happened to them? Hello. I'm the doctor. <sighs> Basically... Run. It's just awesome. It's been going since 1963 in really old movies, but the actual TV series on BBC has been going since 2005. And they keep, they get to switch actors. It was like, um, I keep forgetting the people's names, but I like the 10th and 11th Doctors. The 11th Doctor is the one that was in this preview, and the 10th one came before him, and he's playing by David Tennant. I don't know if you know him. He played a Death Eater in the Harry Potter in the Goblet of Fire. Wait a second. Wait a second. It's not just any Death Eater here. I'm wondering. Wait a second. Wait a second. I think I know what I'm talking about. David Tennant plays that weird guy. Exactly. He plays the guy who is the main antagonist to Harry Potter, the one who keeps doing that tongue thing, like that thing. That guy. That actor plays the tenth one, and he's pretty awesome. Also, it has a really cool theme song for the eleventh Doctor. I just, I'm trying to catch up, which is sort of sad because there's tons of episodes, and plus I'm not a homebody. If you, I don't know if you know that about me, but I, I, I really like traveling outside of home around the place. It's really fun. When I'm at home, I do nothing. <laughs> That is one of my most prominent character flaws. I'm really, I don't do anything when I'm at home.
I do tons of stuff when I travel. I don't do stuff at home. I have, I, I, I've tried to work on that. But it has, I'm trying to look for the theme song here. This is the theme song. I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit. That was the, I think I'm gonna attach another clip right here. First things first, be honest. How do I look? Um, different. Good different or bad different? Just different. Am I ginger? No, you're just sort of brown. Oh, I wanted to be ginger, I've never been ginger. And you, Rose Tyler, fell on good you were, you gave up on me. Oh, that's rude. So that's what man I am now, am I rude? Rude and not ginger. Anyway. Yeah, I've been doing nothing over the weekend. I feel sad, except for the ending of Putnam County Spelling Bee that was at the acting studio. And I think my dad just called me a homeless person because it looks like I'm talking to myself. He's like, she looks like a freaking homeless person. Much appreciated. <laughs> anyway, um, I've lost my train of thought. Yeah, I haven't been doing much except for the cast party. The cast party for Putnam County Spelling Bee, the last show, was awesome. There's this kid named Nick who's really good as a guy who um, says the words. It was just really, 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 really funny. Yeah, uh, that's what happened this weekend so far. I've been watching a lot of Doctor Who. It's amazing. And at the cast party, we tried to build the TARDIS... TARDIS is the big phone booth thing, but I had to leave because it went till midnight, so we got out at like 11.30, and yeah, that is basically what happened. Um, I wanted to say to all the people who were in the video, thank you so much. I miss you guys so much. Ah. Yeah. Well, that is pretty much... What is going on? And if you are arriving on the 11th, that means 12 days. <laughs> I'd pause there. 12 days until you come over here and we'll have a blast. Hopefully my Friday video will include the Beeler, the people that Emma is related to. All you heard was Beal. Okay. Those people and Madame. Hopefully I'll be able to incorporate. And maybe my abuelita. Have you seen my abuelita in a video? So she's pretty awesome. Yes. 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 Okay. I think that is pretty much... Wait a second! Wait a second! Okay. Okay. I got my script. For Into the Woods. And now, we're doing a fall version of 25th Annual Putnam County Spelling Bee, and I'm Logan Schwartz and Um... Not entirely politically correct, but she has two fathers, and their names are Schwartz and Grubinier, so it's Schwartz and Grubinier. And she has a lisp, and she's really involved in political subjects, and it's a pretty awesome character. I'm glad I got that. Um, we're going to be performing that in the fall. Yeah, well, um, that is what is going on. I will see you tomorrow. Yay!